Hey guys, Ben Peterson here, author of the Wood Gas Fire Builders Bible. Look, I made a, uh, I made a big mistake, and it needs to be brought, brought forth publicly and solved immediately. In my attempt to support a reader and fellow Washingtonian, I had been recommending Steve Hawk as a Boff Grid 48, and it turns out that was a big mistake. You may have noticed that I pulled him off my website and my YouTube channel. Frankly, I let a gopher into the garden, and you guys need to be aware of this, so I'm unrecommending Off-Grid 48 for the following five reasons. Please pay attention. One, he's not a real wood gasser. He's a photo op wood gasser at best. Earlier this year, I took a real close look at his efforts, and what I saw is someone who's cutting corners by not putting in the long hours to be a competent wood gas operator and an engine integrator, which is the whole point in building a gas fire to begin with, isn't it? I would bet money based on my thousands of hours of experience, that he doesn't have even 100 hours of wood gassing under his belt, even after seven years, and way fewer hours of actual engine runtime. If he had, he'd have gone to a hot filter to reduce suit, you know? A hay foam filter combo is training wheels for beginners, and that's why I have the hot filter in the upgrade section. He would have doubled up the cooling to quench more moisture out of the gas, and he'd have a much more respectable engine setup, at a minimum. I mean, I could go on and on. This is inexcusable because Mr. Honkus has had everything handed to him on a silver platter and still hasn't done the work. It's frankly pathetic. When I confronted him on this earlier this year, he was evasive and wouldn't even answer the experience question. In the last week, I asked him to provide some proof of real user experience, like some real hours. And neither he nor his wife, who's now answering for him because he won't answer emails, would prov wouldn't provide proof. They would not provide proof. Why this matters. I see a specific threat of carbon monoxide leakage on his machine. When I look at this modification he made to the connection between the heat exchange and the cooler, I believe, based on my experience, that this joint seal will fail under real-world use. It may hold up when testing with a blower, but under an engine load, the temperature could breach the seal and cause a carbon monoxide leak that could kill or hurt somebody. I have a responsibility to let the public know this needs to be rigorously tested. I do not want this guy representing my work. He's making all sorts of little quote-unquote improvements. Who's testing this stuff? Honestly. Pathetic. Two, I recently discovered, and pay attention to this, he's gouging my readers with machine prices of $9,000 and parts kits of $5,500. I mean, it's mostly mild steel. I mean, he's damn near... <laughs> I mean, he's charging like stainless steel prices. There's a few stainless parts, but this is a, a mild steel gasifier. Even with inflation, this machine is about $2,000 in parts and raw materials, plus cutting and labor. You know, the sort of markup he's charging is ridiculous when you consider he doesn't have commercial level skills in wood gas. He has no real R&D cost by copying my work. He has no licensing costs that were paid to me. There's no marketing costs because I've generously sent him leads for years and no overhead because he works from home. And apparently he has no bond or insurance to cover all of the liability he's creating. What the hell is going on? This is outrageous. You know, the economy is being fiddled with, people are being squeezed, and now this guy is just fleecing my readers and is pissing me off. This whole thing stinks. Three, even after asking him to stop He's still using my name, and he's stolen photos from my website, if you can believe it, and he's posting them to his website and using it to mislead and deceive my readers. People assume he either built those machines, if they're brand new, or that he has a business relationship with me, and he doesn't. It's not true. Let me state, for the record, emphatically, we do not have a business relationship, okay? He has no license, and I've never received a single penny from this guy, despite all I've done for him. My various websites, pages, and email lists have probably sent Mr. Honkus at least $200,000 in sales over the last number of years. Seriously, like, who's ever done that for you? It's unreal. I didn't send him all that business so he could line his pockets rent-free. I sent it to him so he had the budget to work with to make wood gas. What a novel idea. To run engines. Oh my goodness, what a novel idea and to do new things to add to the legacy of gasification to benefit everybody. This is a pay it forward sort of arrangement. We're a DIY community. This isn't the fucking franchise expo, you know? I said right in the first edition, no business opportunity seekers, and I know he read that book. 
Instead, he's cutting corners and deceiving my readers to exploit us both. And the automation controller he used in videos actually came from another wood gasser named Matt Ryder. So total credit to Matt. Don't tell me Mr. Honkus is innovating, because he's not. If you've given Off-Grid 48 money, please contact me immediately. You may be entitled to a refund if you were deceived by these marketing practices. The Federal Trade Commission will be getting involved. I have 15 years of my life tied up here. He's playing fast and loose with my reputation, and I'm just not tolerating this shit anymore, period. The lesson here is simple. It's, you know, bleeding hearts attract vampires. No good deed goes unpunished. And I, I'm, I get it, okay? I'm, I finally sunk in. I'm... <laughs> Number four, his actions are putting our community in danger. These are powerful machines that make flammable fuels. It's not a tinker toy, okay? He has no manufacturing background, and he's tweaking the design to try to make it proprietary to him, in his mind at least, but he doesn't have the experience, and he clearly isn't rigorously testing these ideas as an operator. Who's checking his work? What experience do they have? Also, he's putting out machines with no nameplate, claiming the work. Who made this? At the end of the day, who is the responsible party here? It's about liability. This is a lot about liability. And there are no warning labels from what I've seen. It's like, hello, there's carbon monoxide, flammable gases. Jeez. It's like... Yeah. How much does it cost to have some stickers printed off? Jeez, you know? The feds are making war on oil as we speak, and I know you're feeling it in your wallet. Don't think they won't come after gasification next, because they will. We have to self-regulate now or be regulated. I really don't want that, do you? And number five, months ago, I asked him to clean up his behavior and come into honor. It's not a lot to ask him to make wood gas, to run engines, and to start reciprocating financially, and he hasn't. His videos are infomercials that just copy my work. You know, they're not new, real education. Everything with him is just a knockoff. And it's having, you know, some pretty devastating effects on my business. I still have to answer customer emails tied up together with him. It's cut into my downloads. This type of stuff eats into the Jeep project, you know? Like there's, a, you know, he's lining his pockets and it's, you know, net negative for me. So I asked him to stop using my work and build his own line of gas fires. If he has commercial intent, he can do that. He's welcome to do that. But he doesn't have the skills to stand on his own two feet, in my opinion, which is why he waves my book around and plasters my name on his site. Off-Grid 48 is not operating in integrity on so many levels. I can't believe after all I've done for this guy, I have to stop building my house to make this video. You know? He's not a member of our community. He's a business opportunity seeker exploiting my readers exploiting our community, and exploiting my goodwill and reputation. You know, Gas Fire is built on more than parts and measurements. It's built on hard-won experience and a set of values. And this is totally lost on him and people like him. If you've given Off-Grid 48 and Mr. Honkus any money, please contact me with details of your experience. Lawyers are involved. I am willing to take this to court so I can get to the discovery process. I do want to see his customer list and financials to make sure... These people are fully refunded and made whole. If you purchased under misleading and deceptive marketing, then you may be entitled to a full refund. And if your machine has one of those weird seals from the heat exchanger to the cooler, it may need to be recalled. We'll have to get a professional inspector in to look at that. It's not right. It needs to be rigorously tested. So in closing, let's review a few facts here. Fact, Mr. Honkus has provable commercial intent. In fact, he just built a gasifier assembly shop in March despite my request for him to stop manufacturing gasifiers in January of this year. Fact, Mr. Honkus has no commercial license to my work. Fact, Mr. Honkus has no previous manufacturing and gasification experience prior to my book. Fact, Mr. Honkus is making a modified copycat design with no nameplate, no warning labels, and apparently no bond or indemnity insurance. This is reckless to say the least. Fact. Despite massive free publicity, he still stole my copywritten work. He's posting it on his website to mislead the marketplace. It's showing up in search engines. I just used Internet Archive to look back, and this has actually been going on on this particular page since 2017. It's five and a half years, give or take. So this is not a new phenomenon. When asked, Mr. and, Mr. Hon Mr. and Mrs. Honkus would not provide surety bond or indemnity insurance despite their claims that they're working from the book. The book has terms of service, you know? You agree to hold harmless and indemnify me, my company, etc., etc. They would not provide the name of the quality control for their units 
and their insurance. They would not state the responsible party for his work. They would not provide welding certification credentials, would not provide proof of even 100 hours of user experience on his part, would not provide proof of commercial claim to my work, would not provide proof that his modifications have been tested and validated as actual improvements, would not provide number of units sold and gross revenue despite his claims that he's net negative and her claims that he's not making much money, okay? If my work has meant anything to you over the last 15 years, I'm asking for your help now. This is kind of a make or break moment for our community. Are we gonna to rally together or, or not? You know, I made a mistake here. I'm owning it. I'm trying to bring everything into honor publicly. Here's what I need to do. One of the following three things. One, spread the word far and wide to the gasification community. Two, send a firm but polite note to Mr. Honk is asking him to cease and desist and three, if you could go contact Amazon customer help, he still has a promotional video on my book page that's driving traffic to his website. I got him to pull down his Amazon review. He's pulled down his older YouTube videos. He's pulled most of the stuff off his website, but it's, it's been begrudging compliance to say the least. And he has a long way to go. Look, I would like to continue offering you guys DIY plans and publish new work in the future, but under these circumstances, it's simply not possible. There's too much liability. There's too much time loss. I can't afford to do R&D, publish and promote, answer emails, and police bad behavior at the same time for $10 in net book royalties because that's really what it is at the end of the day. Amazon takes half, then they take more for advertising, then the office expenses and the shipping labels. It's 10 bucks, dude. You know, it just doesn't work. Something has to give. Like, I love you. I want to help you. I want to see your family thrive and move through this storm. But, you know, I live in the real world. So, again, I screwed up. I made a mistake recommending this guy. I'm owning it. I won't make this mistake again. I screwed up by recommending Off Grid 48 and Steve Honkus. I thought he's going to actually be a DIY wood guesser, you know, become proficient, do new things that benefit everyone. But I was wrong. So, my sincerest apologies. Thank you for your time and support. They are greatly appreciated. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.